Well, all right, we're back with another tape haul. Uh, I'm particularly, particularly excited about this one. And uh, let's get started. Let's see if we can make sense of some of what's going on here. We're starting off with a tape that makes all the sense in the world to pick up. So we have King of New York. I actually just watched this yesterday. Uh, good movie, good gritty crime drama. I'm sure I saw this movie a long time ago, but uh, I needed a refresher. But I like this. So apparently this is the first release. This is a 1990 movie and a 1990 release. Let's, uh, let's look at the back details here. So this is a live home video release. And what I like about this is that we have the live home video watermarks, if you can see. I know there's a, there's like a quite a few stickers going on here, but this was the only one of its kind that I could find. The other releases of this were all, they were all um, avid. They had Avid right here, and it was dated 1996. So from the looks of things, this is the first release, King of New York. This is, if you guys remember, uh, the main character Christopher Walken plays is Frank White. Notorious B.I.G. referenced this character all the time, like in every song. And King of New York, this is the phrase that is probably uttered the most in either sports or rap music. You know what I mean? So this is, a, like, to me, I saw this and I was just like, you know what? Yeah, of course. I, I, I got to buy this. And got this for a great price. I think it was, like, under 20 bucks. So, yeah, King of New York. And this, is, and this was the only one of its kind that I saw available everything else is just like later releases and it's got the watermarks please please look at that beautiful beautiful tape all right what's next so this tape is heavy as hell i think this is like well i think this is like maybe a pound i don't know this thing is heavy you can kill somebody with this tape so we have players uh this is a 1979 movie and a 1980 home video release. Uh, what I like about this, so we have a six-sided box, six-sided box, and it is a fold-out, fold-out, fold-out box, and it's got the back Paramount watermarks. This is I, I like this a lot. I actually started watching this movie yesterday. Uh, stars Ally McGraw and the uh, 1979 version of uh, Captain America here. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, this is this is a movie that um, I, I don't know. It's like a early early Paramount Home Video release, back watermarks, you know, it's, it just made sense. I thought for the, especially for the price, it made sense to pick up. You know what I'm saying? So Players from 1979 and uh, 1980 release starring Ali McGraw. All right. Oh, and I forgot to mention Steve Gutenberg is actually in this. He plays, he plays the friend. You know what I mean? He plays the main guy's friend. Oh, and another point about King of New York. This movie had everybody in it. So it had, um, let's see, it had Wesley Snipes, Lawrence Fishburne. He was known as Larry, Steve Buscemi, and probably some, like, other guys. But, yeah. Yeah, this movie had, like, everything and everybody in it. So, first release, too. No-brainer pickup. Yeah, it's a 90s release. Oh, they made it a lot of... I, I doubt it. I doubt it for this movie. I doubt it. Okay, uh, Players from 1979, 1980 release. Now, this is a movie right up my alley. I like this a lot. Okay, so I was... 
looking at posters, movie posters the other day, and it came across the poster for this. So this is Fresh Horses from 1988. And I, I, I had no clue this movie existed. I, I lived throughout the 80s, grew up in the 80s, had no clue this movie existed. So stars Molly Ringwald and Andrew McCarthy. So when I saw the poster, I'm like, oh, this is this looks interesting enough. So I went to search to see if there was a, a, a VHS release for this, a sealed VHS release that was available and sure enough it was and it was the only one available as well so i uh, bought it and very happy i like this tape a lot so it's a wine trob home video uh, or rather wine trob entertainment movie produced movie but it was distributed by rca columbia so you have the hologram sticker at the bottom along with the let's get so along with the columbia rca watermarks on the side i like this i like this a lot so andrew mccarthy and molly ringwald great cover i like this cover a lot i like this and ben stiller is in it he plays the friend <laughs> to uh andrew mccarthy but yeah i mean I, I i watched this movie over the weekend and it's it's it, it's okay <laughs> it's an okay movie um uh, it's it's spotty it's a little murky as far as the plot goes and as far as how things are how how events reveal themselves and how characters reveal themselves a little murky but uh it's still I, I the the ending was touching how about that so it's about uh a kid this guy here he's a college student he breaks off his engagement to uh kick it with uh molly ringwald and um so it's a, he's uh he's in cincinnati which i that, that's a place that i'm usually in quite a bit and um and then he goes to kentucky and she has and molly ringwald has the southern accent it, it sounds a little sounds a little hokey but okay it is what it is but yeah it's a good it's a it's 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 all right it's all right it's all right but i like this home video release and there are no other sealed copies of this movie that i see all right what's next we have Haunted Honeymoon from what year is this? Uh, let's uh let's brush up on our Roman numerals. So this is 1986. Okay. <laughs> but uh, the main reason why I bought this was because it had the HBO watermarks that's, that's pretty much the only only reason why and i guess we'll take a look i actually haven't seen this movie but i just thought it was interesting enough and it had the watermarks yada 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 blah blah blah, blah. hbo canon home video 1986 why not why not all right so we have another copy found ourselves another copy of the boneyard okay it's all good it's all good and this is actually this is a promo copy or i guess you could say promo screener and i believe i showed this i, I believe i showed this tape off maybe well the first the, the first copy that i have i showed this off maybe a few months ago and this is still sealed up, and this is going to be really tough. This is a double slip case. It's a double slip case, so you can. I, I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there's a slip case here, and then you have this outer slip case. So, yeah, and this is. Um, I don't know. I just 
it was cheap enough, so I figured, eh, hey, let's go ahead and pick it up. So another copy of the Boneyard, I guess you can call it Screener, Boneyard Screener with Phyllis Diller. Okay. All right. All right. Sure, sure. Okay. So what we're going to do is, the, okay, so this is the one, so this is the tape here that we need to uh, make heads or tails on. So we've got a copy of Blackenstein from apparently Meta Home Entertainment. So when I when I saw this, like I kept thinking it was, oh, it's media, it's media, it's media. And then I looked at it, I'm like, and then I was freaking out because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is counterfeit. It's me it's it says Meta instead of media. But apparently the first however many releases from this company said Meta on the box, even though, let's see. So we have Media Home Entertainment Inc. And then Meta here. So I I, I I don't know what's going on. Okay, so apparently now I don't show off tapes that aren't sealed. Okay, and um, this was, this is apparently a sealed Blackenstein from 1978. So this, this tape is as old as I am. Okay, this is a 44-year-old tape, and here's the thing. I would take it out of the the plastic here. I don't want to handle it that much because there is... It's tough to see, but there's like a tear here, and then there's on the sides, on this side seam, there's like a... A separation in the seam from here all the way down to here and then a separation in the seam right here and then you have a lot of other little rips and tears here so uh, what I did was took detailed pictures of this and I will post them either to I guess the, is the community section in YouTube is that is that a viable option or no what do you think what say you but i'll definitely put this up in i'll definitely put this up on instagram so if anybody doesn't follow me on instagram uh you should i'm thotting it up uh, the goal is to be the greatest of all the instagram thoughts but uh yeah blackenstein so the movie is from 1973, and this is a 1978 release. So this thing is old as hell. It's so old. Look at that. Look at the name. It's Meta instead of Media. It's freaking me out. But yeah, I'm like, did they misspell that? What's going on here? But I looked at the... I actually saw the first... I actually watched the probably the first half hour of this movie... Man, it is. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and what the hell is going on with this image? I don't know what's happening here. Is that... Is... What's... Who is... What is this? What is this? I don't know. I don't know. Whew. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, like I said, I took pictures, detailed pictures, and I'll put them up on uh, Instagram, maybe in the community section in YouTube, but definitely on Instagram. And you guys, you 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 uh, you tape experts that would definitely know better than me. Um, I would love to get your feedback on Blackenstein. So yeah, we got black. We got a supposedly. A factory sealed copy of Blackenstein. Now, here's the thing. I've seen quite a few, in my limited experience, I've seen quite a few uh, reseals, okay? And when it comes to reseals, uh, the, you'll see a lot of damage with um, where... Okay, so where it is actually... So in the reseal you'll see the plastic cover up 
a lot of damage and that damage should at least be exposed you know what i mean you'll see like a like frayed corners you'll see you know dings that are stained you'll see um you, you know just uh, you'll see damage to the box but it'll be it, but it shouldn't be there if this thing is covered in a factory seal. You know what I mean? But uh, I, I'm seeing this thing is clean, man. This thing is hella clean. Look at this. This thing doesn't even look real. Considering how old it is. And this thing should be browned up. This thing should be, you know, heavily uh, frayed along the corners. And I'm just not seeing it. I'm just not seeing it. And for what I paid for it, it, it just doesn't seem worth counterfeiting. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, I, I got this thing hella cheap. So I, I I just can't see the seller not being on the up and up. Or, you know, I, look at this thing. God, freaking Blackenstein. Look at that. Oh, okay, so... Again, I'm going to put detailed photos up, and uh, you experts, please help me out. Okay, we're moving on. Next, we have Stallone Lockup. Okay, now, the main reason why I bought this was... Okay, I bought this a few months ago, and I'm just now showing it off. The main reason why I bought this is because it has the IVE watermarks. And uh, this is a IVE home video release. And a lot of the copies that you see will say live as opposed to IVE. And um, I think either here or here, the later releases will have that Avid home video logo. That Avid is gross. I, I, okay, I know to avoid Avid... I know to avoid good times, and I know to avoid treasure, <laughs> video treasures, <laughs> so far, <laughs> in my um, in my few months of uh, tape collecting. So Stallone lockup, uh, so we go from Stallone to Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, is Lionheart, okay. All right. I meant to watch the I, I meant to watch both of these movies before I talked about them, but I never got a chance. And this is a movie that I bought a few months ago and just now getting around to showing off and you see the Universal Home Video or MCA Universal Home Video watermarks. That's the main reason why I bought this. I forget how much I paid, but uh I, I I'm thinking, okay, I think this was like maybe 40, the Stallone lockup. And I think Lionheart, ugh, ah, I want to say maybe 20, I forget. But this was like a few months ago. But yeah, all right, why not? Why not? And we're going to go from, so we're going to go from this to a tape that I'm really, really excited about. In the Karate Kid. The Karate Kid. And uh, this is one of those classic 80s movies. What's the what's the weight on this tape? Uh, when I weighed it, it was 9.5 ounces. All right. And what I like about this, it is a six-sided box. Uh, now, it doesn't have back watermarks, but it does have the side watermarks, and you can see black, side black watermarks, all right, but it's still sealed up. Um, I'm not quite sure how far down the totem pole as far as releases go. Is this a... Third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really, I don't know, but I can appreciate the fact that it's a six sided box, barcode at the bottom, still sealed up, still factory sealed, still factory sealed, and it has RCA 
Columbia Pictures Home Video watermarks on it. This is what I can appreciate more than anything. So, yeah, man. Uh, and this thing kind of smells... Like, I kind of want to take it out. This thing smells... It smells like if I were a weird smell sommelier, I would have to say... Uh, I, I I I I sense hints of bo smoke and old lady perfume, but not the but not the perfume of nice old ladies, like the perfume of skanky old ladies. You know what I'm saying? Like this thing smelled really weird. Like when I took photos for the thumbnail, like I had to go down in the basement because I didn't want to open it up. It, I didn't want to open this thing up here and then like just like it, it would be like a bomb of just weird smells that would probably take a day or two to clear out. So I'm keeping this thing uh, <laughs> enclosed in this plastic here. And uh, last but not least, we're making good time. Uh, we're doing about 10 tapes here. Uh, we have it's a mad 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 world okay all right i forget how much i paid i think i'm i i think i paid like 50 bucks for this you know what i mean so it's like and it's got the back cbs fox deal going i don't know i figured and it's 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 completely sealed it's got the um it's got the five star collection sticker and the barcode at the bottom, but I figure for the price, why not pick it up? And that's my tape haul again. What's happening here? What's going on with this? What's going on with Black and Steen? Ah, ah, ah! You tell me. You tell me. Damn it! What's going on with the uh, Karate Kid? Ah, you tell me. Play. I like this. I don't know. I like this. I believe it or not, I'm probably the most excited about King of New York. I, I really like this. And uh Fresh Horses. Whenever I think of whenever I see this title, I think of the Rolling Stones song, Wild Horses, but not the version, but not the Mick but not the Mick Jagger sung version it's a it's the version sung by a chick from a few years ago so it, it's a it's a whole thing it's a whole thing but uh this is my haul i'm sticking with it i thank you guys for watching and i'll have a comic book haul soon and i and i think the next movie haul should probably be will probably be laser discs that's what i'm thinking so uh we'll see you next time and uh, thanks for watching. All right, bye.